On Mother's Day, food delivery platforms like Zomato and Swiggy Instamart experienced a surge in orders, surpassing even the high volume seen on New Year's Eve. Zomato's CEO mentioned that it was the first time Mother's Day had seen such high order volumes. This year's Mother's Day orders were on track to exceed not only New Year's Eve but also other peak days like Valentine's Day and Holi. The question stands, how far is this aimed at? Hi everybody, partnership between companies like Ola and Magic Pin through the open network for digital commerce facilitated the delivery of treats and cakes to mothers showcasing the potential of collaborative efforts in the digital commerce space. For your information, the ONDC that is Open Network for Digital Commerce is an initiative launched by the Government of India to create a unified digital commerce platform. It aims to provide a common technological infrastructure that connects buyers, sellers and service providers across various sectors, enabling seamless transactions and fostering innovation in the digital commerce ecosystem. ONDC aims to promote fair competition, empower small businesses and drive economic growth by leveraging digital technologies. The above scenario aligns closely with the concept of demand-side factors in economics. Demand-side factors encompasses all the factors that influence the demand for a product or a service in the market. These factors include consumer preferences, income levels, advertising, market strategies, seasonal events, and special occasions like holidays. In this case, Mother's Day serves as a demand-side factor that significantly impacts consumer behavior and leads to a surge in demand for specific product. Consumer preferences for certain items on Mother's Day influence the type of product ordered from platforms like Zomato and Swiggy Instamart. In response to increased demand driven by these demand-side factors, platforms like these adjust their offerings and collaborate with sellers to ensure the availability of popular items, thereby catering to consumer preferences during special occasions. The surge in orders has sparked a question about how times and preferences have evolved with a noticeable shift from online shopping to strengthening dominance of e-commerce. What factors are driving this transition? Moreover, if e-commerce platforms are benefiting significantly from these trends, are offline retailers experiencing similar advantages? Let's figure it out one after the other. The surge in orders and the apparent dominance of e-commerce over traditional offline shopping can be attributed to several key factors driving this transition. Number one is convenience and accessibility. The research studies have shown that consumers value convenience and time-saving benefits when choosing between online and offline shopping. For example, a study conducted by the Journal of Retailing and Consumer Services found that 75% of the respondents cited convenience as the primary reason for shopping online. This preference for convenience is further reinforced by the ability to shop 24 by 7, avoid traffic and parking hassles and access a wider range of products with just a few clicks. Number 2 is Wide Range of Choices Market research conducted by e-commerce analytic firms like eMarketer and Nielsen has revealed that online retailers offer a significantly broader selection of products compared to brick and mortar stores. For instance, a report by eMarketer found that an average e-commerce website carries over 1 lakh SKUs that is stock keeping units, whereas the average physical store typically offers less than 50,000 SKUs. This abundance of choices appeals to consumers seeking variety and customization in their shopping experience. Number 3 is Competitive Pricing and Discount Comprehensive pricing studies conducted by organizations like Pricenomics and Retail Me Not have analyzed millions of transactions to assess the pricing competitiveness of online retailers versus offline stores. These studies consistently show that e-commerce platforms often lower prices and more frequent discounts compared to brick and mortar retails. For example, a Pricenomics study found that online prices for electronics were on average 10 to 20% lower prices in the physical stores, even after accounting for shipping cost. Number 4 is Personalization and Recommendation Research conducted by data analytic firms like McKinsey and Company and Essential has demonstrated the effectiveness of personalized recommendations in driving online sales. 
For instance, a McKinsey study found that personalized product recommendations accounted for 35% of Amazon's total sales. Additionally, Accenture's research revealed that 91% of consumers are more likely to shop with brands that provide relevant offers and recommendation. These findings underscore the importance of data-driven personalization in enhancing the online shopping experience and increasing customer engagement. Number 5 is technological advancement. In-depth analysis conducted by technology research firms like Forrester Research and Gartner have highlighted the impact of emerging technologies on e-commerce innovation. For example, Forrester's research on the role of augmented reality in e-commerce found that AI-driven product visualization experiences can increase conversion rates up to 40%. Similarly, Gartner's studies on conventional commerce have demonstrated how AI-powered chatbots and virtual assistant can enhance customer interaction and streamline the purchasing process of online shoppers. And number 6 is COVID-19 pandemic acceleration. Extensive surveys conducted by market research firms such as Nielsen and Ipsos have examined the lasting effect of COVID-19 pandemic on consumer behavior and e-commerce adoption. For example, Nielsen's research revealed that 73% of consumers globally plan to continue shopping online for groceries even after the pandemic subsidies. Similarly, Ipsos studies found that 64% of consumers have increased their online shopping frequency since the onset of the pandemic, citing safety concerns and convenience as primary drivers. These findings underscore the long-term shift in consumer behavior accelerated by the pandemic, further solidifying the dominance of e-commerce in the retail landscape. In conclusion, ONDC indeed is demonstrating the power of collaboration in the digital commerce space. By pooling resources, expertise and technological infrastructure, these partnerships are not only meeting consumer demands more effectively but also driving innovation and growth in the digital commerce ecosystem. Hope you liked the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.